Ringo Starr was born Richard Starkey on July the 7th, 1940 in Liverpool, Lancashire, England to Elsie Gleave and Richard Starkey. By the time he turned four, the family had moved to another neighbourhood. His parents separated and got divorced in a year. Following his parents' divorce, his mother took up a number of jobs to make ends meet. Tragedy struck when young Starkey, age six, developed appendicitis and slipped into a coma for three days. He recovered completely only after a year. After his discharge from the hospital in 1948, his mother did not allow him to go to school. Till the age of eight, Starkey was unschooled. As a result, he fared poorly in academics. In 1953, disaster struck the family once again when Starkey contracted tuberculosis. Subsequently, he was admitted to an infirmary for nearly two years. In order to stimulate motor activity and enhance quicker recovery, the hospital encouraged the patients to join the hospital band and indulge in music. This was when he began to develop an interest in drumming. When he was discharged from the hospital, he chose not to return to school and preferred to stay at home. He then started listening to music and displayed a keen interest to learn it. He was briefly employed with the British Rail. However, since he was unable to pass the physical examination, he was out of work and was given unemployment benefits. He then did a number of odd jobs. Sometime around 1956, he worked as an apprentice machinist for an equipment manufacturer. While he worked there, he became friends with Roy Trafford, who was also interested in music. He began his musical career with a skiffle band where he was given the nickname Ringo because of the number of rings that he wore. He joined Al Cadwell's skiffle group Texans before joining the band Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. In 1960, he met the Liverpool band The Beatles and joined them two years later, replacing Pete Best. Soon, he was on the path of success with his new band members John Lennon, George Harrison and Paul McCartney. Though his vocal skills were limited, he did take the lead on a handful of songs, including Boys on the band's 1963 debut album, Please Please Me and its first American release Introducing the Beatles, 1964, Honey Don't on Beatles for Sale in the United Kingdom and Beatles 65 in the United States, both 1964, Act Naturally on Help, 1965, and With a Little Help from My Friends on Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, 1967. In the late 1960s, Starr began songwriting, contributing Octopus Garden to Abbey Road, 1969. The members of the Beatles had all launched separate careers before the band officially broke up in 1970. He also had several hit singles during the 1970s, notably It Don't Come Easy, 1971, Back of Boogaloo, 1972, and Photograph and You're 16, both 1973. Starr continued to release albums and to play on solo records for Lennon and Harrison, but his success became more modest as time went on.
star later played the conductor in the children's television series Shining Time Station, 1989 to 93, and was nominated 1989 for an Emmy Award. He published two books of photography, Postcards from the Boys, 2004, and Photograph, 2015. He formed his first all-star band in 1989 and embarked the following year on the first of a continuing series of tours with various incarnations of the all-star band, enjoying a thriving if low-key career punctuated by appearances at Beatles retrospectives. Solo studio albums featuring tracks written and recorded by Starr and members of his all-star band include Choose Love 2005, Postcards from Paradise 2015, Give More Love 2017 and What's My Name 2019. was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, receiving the award for musical excellence. The Beatles were inducted in 1988. Starr was made a member of the Order of the British Empire, MBE, in 1965, and he received a knighthood in the 2018 New Year Honours. <laughs> 